Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the introduction of the exponential function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here uh, the definition of exponential functions for in if b is any number such that your b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, then the exponential function is in the form f of x is equal to b raised to x. Now guys, um, I will give you examples para ma-recognize nyo once na nakita nyo yung function. Ah, that function is an example of an exponential function. The first one is we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. As you can see, this one is an, in functional notation. We have here f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Where in uh, your b here is 2 or your base here is 2 that is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. And as you can see, this one is exponential because the variable here is used as an exponent. Now, another example is that we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x minus 3. This one is also an example of exponential function. And if you want to search for more examples, you can search through the internet para makita nyo at ma-realize nyo what is an exponential function. By the way guys, you can also replace f of x by y because f of x is equal to y. So, aside from the definition, restrictions of the base, okay, restriction of the base, and examples of exponential function, we have here different properties of the graph of exponential function. For f of x is equal to b raised to x, again, where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. First, the domain of this kind of function is the set of all real numbers. Second, range is the set of all positive numbers. So, as you can see, um, meron tayo itong word the domain and range and going back to the previous discussions, when we say domain, it is the values, set of values of x or the input for the given function and for the range naman, that is the output or the outcome kapag naglagay kayo ng values ng x sa mismong function. And sabi dito, yung domain natin is the set of all real numbers. Ibig sabihin, uh, imagine a number line. Lahat ng numbers na nandun pwedeng maging value ng x natin. And as for the range, as for the byproduct, pag nilagay natin yung input, yung real numbers natin, it will give us all the positive numbers para sa range ng exponential function. Next, number three, for the graph. For the graph of the exponential function, if your b is greater than 1, given this function eh, the exponential, uh, yun yung tinatawag natin exponential growth. At kapag naman yung base natin is greater than 0, but less than 1, ay yun naman yung tinatawag natin exponential decay. So again, kapag um, greater than 1 yung base natin, exponential growth, Tapos yung b natin is less than, uh, greater than 0, but less than 1, that is an exponential decay. So let me show you the graph of, an example lang naman to, if your b is greater than 1. So magmula dito, magmula dito, and dadaan siya dito, at napunta dito. Okay? From left to right yung kanyang pag-angat. At yung tinatawag natin exponential growth. Exponential growth. And as for B, is greater than 0 pero less than 1. Yung kanyang graph ay magmula dito. From right to left. At dadaan siya dito sa point na to and papunta sa left. At yung tinatawag natin exponential decay. Tandaan na, 
Uh, that yung mag-i-tune ng graph natin if ito yung formation ng function nyo. f of x is equal to b raised to x. Next, the graph will always grow to positive infinity and negative infinity. Number five, the function passes through the point 0, 1 if this is our formation or kind of function. So itong point dito kanina, this is your 0, 1 where in the value of x is 0 while the value of y is equal to 1. And lastly, the graph will approach but does not reach the horizontal asymptote. In this kind of function, in this kind of function, yung minensyon natin kanina, uh, the asymptote here is the, the x-axis. Okay? So as you can see, um, the graph of either the exponential growth or the exponential decay will approach the horizontal asymptote, which is your x-axis, but hindi sila mag-touch. Hindi nila ma-reach ito. Pauntiunti, pauntiunti, pero hindi. Hindi nila mag-touch yung ating x-axis. So by the way guys, ayun lang yung simple introduction natin for um, the exponential function wherein last time meron tayong video na ginawa on how to solve for exponential equations at ilalagay natin sa ating description box yung mismong link ng videos na yun. And for the next video na gagawin natin dito, we will talk about how to evaluate exponential functions and we will determine the domain and range of exponential functions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!